This is just a rough cut, Mr. Thompson. Well, I'll do a final edit after your review. That's good. Oh, here. Here's the remote control for the VCR. Okay, thank you. By the way, you weren't too thrilled with this uh, assignment when I first gave it to you. How do you feel about it now? It turned out pretty interesting. Uh, I learned a lot. <laughs> well, good. I kind of thought that you might. Safety in the Workplace, a special video news feature. Starring Terry Simpson. I think maybe that ought to be uh, Terry Simpson reporting. Yeah, okay. Um, I can fix that. <laughs> Send me so you don't see my pants. I'm supposed to be dressed up, remember? Are we rolling? Uh, okay. <clears throat> safety is something we're all aware of. In school and in sports, we're taught the safe way of doing things. Well, someday we're going to be out of school and working for a living. And who's going to be responsible for safety then? Behind me is Wonder Brain, those two humongous distribution centers. This one's on Telgi Road. Every day, tons of goods come in from all over the country in these trucks. Here, they're stored, then later they're sorted and delivered to all the Randall supermarkets across the greater Houston area. In a minute, we'll go inside, but first, let's look at some scenes we taped earlier at another grocery warehouse that we'll call the Beep Beep Grocery Company. Zoom in on him for his answer, okay? Do you have any safety training programs here? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we got safety here. Uh, we got some uh, safety junk in the back office. The man must have read it when they first signed on. While the safety coordinator was out looking for his safety manual, we were able to document their <laughs> safety program in action. This is, <clears throat> this is very interesting footage, Terry. Oh, this place was so bad, I'm afraid to use their name. Working there would be like dancing in a minefield. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> you know, after we got this footage, even I realized that this wasn't a good example. And, well, that's when I decided to look at Randall's to see how they handled their safety program. Uh, how, yeah. did, uh, how did Randall's compare? Well, that's coming up next. OK. <laughs> We're here to talk to Brian Greesmer. Mr. Greesmer is the warehouse manager at the Randall's Distribution Center on Telgi Road. Mr. Greesmer, I know a lot of the goods come in and out of the warehouse all day and that they can be heavy or breakable or they're stacked so high off the ground. Can't this be dangerous? In our business, there is a high potential for danger. That's why safety training is so important to us. Well, when exactly does safety training start and when does it cover? Safety training starts as soon as an applicant becomes an employee. As soon as the applicant fills out his final paperwork, he becomes an employee, I go over some general topics with him, explain to him some of the things that uh, we feel are important that he watch out for uh, to make sure that he works safely. In my research, I read that most back injuries occur within 30 minutes at the start of a shift. Well, why is that? We found this to be true also. The, we feel that the reason this happens is because when an employee just comes into work, they're more or less just getting out of bed and their muscles are still tight and they're not limbered up. So before e any employee starts to work, he's required to go through a, a, a routine of exercises that will loosen up his muscles and help warm his muscles up. What areas do you have to pay special attention to? When I heard that you were coming, I jotted down a few think topics that we discuss with an employee before he starts. And if you don't mind, I'm going to read through them here. And I can give you a copy of this when we're done so you can take it back. Uh, we require that the employee be attentive during all training sessions. And as they're walking around, the, the supervisor shows them and makes them familiar with all the exit doors and evacuation procedures. The re employees are required to operate all equipment in a safe manner and they are told not to try to operate any equipment that they're not qualified to operate. We try to train each and every employee on how to change your battery properly. And the batteries are anywhere from 1,600 to 2,400 pounds, and if they were to drop on their foot, they can just say goodbye to their foot. 
We also require every employee to pay attention to all warning signs. They're there, put there for a reason, and we explain that to them as we walk them around. We have, as you walk through the warehouse, you can see that we have two types of doors. We have what's called a fork truck door, a traffic door, and we have a walkthrough door. That's for people that are not on equipment to be able to walk through. And when we explain to them that when you're walking, you go through the walkthrough doors. And when you're on equipment, you can go through equipment through the uh, fork truck traffic doors. Uh, there's a lot of blind spots out in the warehouse uh, coming out of aisleways and that type of thing and we require that employees use their horns in those areas. We require that, the, that as they're working they keep the debris picked up off the floor such as boards, uh, plastic pallet wrap, uh, and any other type of pallet restraints that are maybe laying on the floor that they keep that picked up. Well, I know that Randall's have two different warehouses. Are there any differences between the two in regard to safety requirements? As far as operating the equipment's concerned, no. We have the same type of equipment at both facilities. Now, the atmosphere is somewhat different. At Roger Dale, it's a non-refrigerated facility, and there's, the floor stays dry most all the time. Here at this warehouse, we have, it's a refrigerated warehouse. In some areas, the temperature's down to 27, 28 degrees, and we have some condensation, and some, which causes slick spots on the floor, and that's a safety hazard, and we just ask that the people be careful as they go through those areas. Thank you very much.